Hello, this is your boy Nathan here, and you're watching Roller Masters. First of all, I just want to personally thank each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel. I just recently hit 400, and it means the world to me. Now I'm going to shoot for a thousand. Hopefully, I can get that done by Christmas time. Anyways, have you ever asked yourself, hmm, Nathan? Well, I just got the rope rock, and I have this cool map, but unfortunately, it doesn't look right. I need to change something in my map, but I don't want to have to remap my entire house. That takes way too long. Well, let me go ahead and show you this example. One day, I had both this door and the door behind you closed, so now the robot thinks that this room is completely encased or closed off. So, when I go ahead and tell it to go to a different room, it can't because it thinks both the doors are shut in this room and it feels trapped. Let me show you how to get this corrected. So. Hold on one second. The map thinks both doors are closed even though I just opened up both the doors but the robot won't check it, it will just give an error. The robot will sit there and spin its LiDAR sensor. I think it's just trying to calculate any possible scenario, but since both doors are closed in the map and that's what the robot thinks, it's not going to try to check it. Maybe in a future update, it will have the robot check just to make sure that the doors didn't get opened. Okay, so there's two ways to fix this. Um, either A, you can have it do the entire room, or a little bit quicker method is just do a spot clean right along there. So let's go ahead and just set that up real quick. I'm just going to move this square over. And make sure it covers both the entranceways. There you go, that's all you have to do. And what it's going to do is the robot's going to clean this area and it's going to update its map. The Roblox S6 is a pretty good cleaner overall. I do like that the map is more stable. One thing I had problems with the S5 was the map would get obscured or distorted after time, but the S6 map seems really solid, and if you move the Roblox to a new location, it can update its map pretty easily. Um, there is occasional times, like in this example, where both doors are shut, but it's not a big deal. As long as you just do an area clean, or you can also do a full cleaning of the area, it will update its map. Um, one thing to note is you can also use the remote control and kind of drive around that area a few times and it should update the map to reflect the actual floor plan. I have gotten a couple questions on how to save your maps on the new Roblox S6. This is a signature feature over the S5. You can save up to three different floor plans. So what you do is once you're on the main menu, which is where you can see the map, you should be able to see three little dots. It's in the upper right hand corner. Go ahead and select that. Now you should be able to see vacuum settings, which should be the first option in your settings menu. Once you have that selected, go ahead and select the map saving mode. Make sure that is enabled. Now drop back to your main menu and off to the left you should see an edit map tab. Once you select that, you should see a restore map. That's where the three maps are stored and you can go ahead and select between the three different maps. So here's the update. Looks like the map is still representing that the doors are closed. You can see a little bit of the map showing some open area. It takes a while for the map to update, like I said before. Just give it some time, but let the robot do its complete zone cleaning area. And you'll see that where we're standing, that the kind of entrance is opening up a little bit. And it will also open up in the back corner as well. You can see this in real time as the lines are slowly fading away. A lot of my viewers on this channel love the Roborock, and I don't 
blame them. The Roblox series are really good vacuums. They have efficient navigation algorithms. They have a LiDAR sensor, which a lot of people love because it can navigate in complete darkness where the Roombas struggle with. Also, they like the price points at $400 for the S5 and $600 for the S6. It's a really good starting point. That's what a lot of people would be willing to pay because the Roombas, they are good vacuums, but at close to $1,000 might be out of reach for some people. So if I was the average consumer and let's say I just wanted something that was reliable, it didn't break the bank, then I would recommend like the S5. And if you had a few hundred dollars extra to spend on, then the S6 is also a really good choice. Um, it's great for someone that has a multi-level house because you got the three map floor plan memory. Oh look, it looks like the map's been updated to represent what's actually going on. Both doors are open and the uh, S6 is almost done with its zone cleaning. You may notice this open area highlighted in green. Well, once the Roblox S6 is done with its zone cleaning area, it's going to attempt to go that area to go back to his charger. Unfortunately, this area is blocked off with a couple chairs and these chairs have thin chair legs which the S6 struggles to see. But with its smart navigation, it just spends about a few minutes trying to fit itself through and then it gives up and does an alternate route. But S6 tries to go this route but soon realizes it's too big to fit through the chair legs so it goes back the other way. Okay, so we got our updated map. Let's try that one more time. We're going to go ahead and select the room, which is my kitchen area. Starting room Let's see if the robot will now go to the kitchen. Okay, it looks like it worked. So, if you like this type of video, please smash the like button. Give it a great big thumbs up. Help me gauge if this helpful tutorial video was helpful or not. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Nathan. I have a lot of cool robots. I do a lot of cool reviews. Unboxings, overviews, crazy testings, you name it, I do everything. So I hope you guys are safe out there, and I'll see you guys next time.